Finn gets his husband, known as Njilo, got a 30,000 bail. You want to know more about that, I'm definitely sure. Then please stick around, because I'm about to unpack all of that, provided that you're interested. Well, on the other hand, Nango O and Lembali walking, uh, look, doing a cat walk in a fashion show with black coffee. I know! You're like, uh, bongs? Bongs? Where? Wait a minute, what are you saying? Well, I, I want you to guys to just chill for a moment. Let me unpack all of this, provided that you're interested. If you are, then please stick around. As you stick around, there's only one favor that I'm requesting from you guys. And that favor is that you subscribe, you like the video, and you comment in the comment section below. Why do you need to do all of that? You need to do it because it does help out a lot when it comes to the YouTube algorithm to promote and spread this video to as many people as possible. Definitely, the power is in your hands. Please exercise it in favor of the video. Speaking about that, that you need to exercise that in favor of this video. Yay! Go people! Uh, let's get into this one. Uh, and Sembali, uh, take us through, man. But before we get into and Sembali, let's talk about uh, oh, Njilo. Uh, Njilo. Uh, man, what's going on? Uh, are you getting out of prison or what, what? what is it, man? This is what it says. Uh, Njilo and his co-accused. Gwanda and Changase, who was granted a 3,000 bail, appeared in the court of, on, on Friday following their arrest in connection with the allegation that they are they, def, look, they fraudulently posed as salesmen who were selling a truck and illegally took money from an, an unsuspecting buyer. It was revealed in court that the money was transferred into Njilo's account. Yeah, the matter was postponed to June 20, June to look, June 28 for further investigation. Uh, this after the owner of the land, uh, land industrial uh, Blaine Events and James Stephen opened a case of fraud against him for an outstanding debt of uh, close to 1 million rand, citing that they look, they paid him for uh, a chopper con concrete which he never delivered in August last year. Gino's lawyer, uh, Offense Zhuang, told City Press that controversial businessman business was set to appear in Randberg, Johannesburg uh, on, on May, look, May 2023, on the 19th of May 2023. Earlier this month, in and Tseki allegedly vacated their multi million rand hall mansion in Hyra Park. Um, uh, after it was sold for 17 million over a month ago. Hmm. Now, the question that all of us we need to ask is why do why, why is it that people get to get themselves into such things? Is it because maybe they want to maintain a particular type of lifestyle? I, I just don't know, but it makes me wonder why why do people do things like this? Like honestly speaking, I'm I'm very curious about it, right? Do you want to maintain Faint Katsy? Do you want to maintain this lifestyle that Faint Katsy has portrayed in, in the media? Wh wh why? Why do people go to this extent? I want to know, right? But on the other hand, let's talk about Black Coffee and Entlembali. This comes as a shock, right? But well, there's a twist into it. L listen to this one. Uh, Fashion Week, did Entlembali share a catwalk with Black Coffee? Right, according to the citizens, they reported the following. Dramatic nature of the uh, uh, breakup here in Antlembali. Um, here in Antlembali. Um, Lord, joy, name, look, name, look, uh, name next to that of Black Coffee immediately uh, quipped the interest of the masses. This was exactly the case when the running, oh, look, when the running order of the day two of SA Fashion Week, uh, SAFU, was sent out and those in the know saw that Antlem Balis is appeal will be showcasing the right, right before Black Coffee brand on the uh, on the night Oppo collection show. The Black Coffee is the Black Coffee in question is a brand that belongs to the designer Jack Van De Watt. He made it as a Fashion Week debut in 1990 and his brand has gone on to become one of the most acclaimed fashion design label in South African fashion industry. Along the way, he scooped up a truckload of design accolade and continued to wow fashion lovers across the world with his creation. So, definitely, 
It's not that black coffee that you you, you, talk, you think it was, but obviously it was a different black coffee altogether. But again, I've got my closing remarks to this story. Uh, so Entlembali didn't work with the black coffee that you think of, but out of a shock, actually I've discovered that, wait a minute, black coffee, uh, there's a label called black coffee all along. Honestly speaking, I didn't know that there was a label called black coffee. I honestly didn't know. Uh, when, whenever we think of black coffee, we will think of the musician, former husband of U Ensembali, right? But to hear that there's a label called black coffee, it was a shock. Oh, speaking of people that are former and what what, I, I'm just wondering. Um, Ensembali, I'm sorry, let's leave Ensembali. Thank it. Uh, the husband has been sa said that, yeah, not said, but confirmed that he will reappear in uh, in court on the 19th of May 